Welcome to RK Tutorials, Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Dimashenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set to 2.7 and problem number 2.112. A short semicircular right cylinder of radius R and weight W rests on a horizontal surface and is pulled at the right angles to its horizontal geometric axis by a horizontal force P applied at the middle B of the front edge as shown in the figure. Find the angle alpha that the flat face will make with the horizontal plane just before sliding begins. If the coefficient of friction is mu, the gravity force W must be considered as acting at the center of gravity C as shown in the figure. That means there is a semicircular right cylinder and force P is pulling in this direction. I would like to find the, uh, the value of alpha for the sliding begins. Now let us consider the various forces acting on this cylinder. The first, first, first force is self weight W. Next force is the force P. And there is a normal reaction that is N. And we are there, uh, the sliding must be avoided. Sliding must be avoided. So there must to avoid that there must be a frictional force and let the frictional force is mu into n. There are only four forces 1, 2, 3, 4. So I can apply equilibrium equation sigma fx is equal to 0. There are only two forces acting along x axis. P is towards right side, mu n is towards left side, hence P is equal to mu n that is equation number 1. Next sigma fy is equal to 0. There are only two forces are acting along y axis, hence w is equal to n. By substituting here, I can find that P is equal to mu into W. Take moments about point A. The next third equilibrium condition that is sigma M equals to A. Let us consider the moments about A. If you consider the moments about A, we need to find the distances between this force W and N. And also we need to find the distance between A and P. These two distances we need to find. That is the important point in this. Now for that, I am just constructing a horizontal line here and this is an another horizontal line meeting at point O. Now what is our interest? Our interest is to find the distance between these two lines. That, that distance is CC dash. This is the distance between the point of the moment and the weight W. So for that there is a right angle triangle clearly we can see there is a right angle triangle OCC dash. And this angle is also known because it is tilted by an angle alpha. Similarly the distance between the load P and the A is, uh, is equal to this much that is AD. I am just extended this line. Okay. And the distance becomes AD. So our interest is to find CC dash and AD. So if you take moments about point A, you will get the equation W into CC dash minus P into AD is equal to 0. Then W into CC dash that AD, that AD I can consider as OA minus OD. Uh, let us try to find the distances CC dash OA and OD. From the right angle triangle OCC dash, so CC dash becomes it is opposite side and you know this side is equal to 4R by 3 pi that is given. So this side because it is centroid. So 4R by 3 pi into opposite side hence you will get CC dash is equal to 4R by 3 pi into sin alpha. Similarly, I would like to find the value OA and OD. OA, OA is nothing but the radius because it is passing through the center. So OA becomes R and I would also like to find the value OD. For that, I will consider right angle triangle OBD. Now this is the right angle triangle I am considering. OBD right angle triangle. In this OBD right angle triangle, OB value becomes R radius and this angle is alpha so from that I can find OD OD is equal to R sin alpha and OA value is R so CC dash OA OD all values are known so I can substitute now so W into 4R by 3 pi sin alpha minus P into R minus R sin alpha so this I can simplify further so I can take sin alpha outside sin alpha is if you take outside sin alpha into W into 4R by 3 pi plus P into R is equal to P into R. Now our interest is to find sin alpha. So sin alpha is equal to uh, after simplification you will get 3 pi PR by 4 RW plus 3 pi into PR. By. Now this you can uh, but P value. P value we already calculated from previous uh, uh, equation number 3 that P value is equal to mu into W. P 
p value is equal to mu into w so i am substituting p is equal to mu into w here and here also i am substituting p is equal to mu into w simplify and after simplification you will get sin alpha is equal to 3 pi mu by 4 plus 3 pi mu so this is the answer for the given problem